Sail Away travels to Ireland. From the southwest of the Republic of Ireland, we'll travel right across the country and eventually arrive in Portrush in Northern Ireland. Among other places, the train will take us to a world-famous stud farm, a train museum, and treat us to breathtaking views. Traveling by train is an ideal way to examine this beautiful country. Our starting point is Killarney in the west of Southern Ireland. Here we're immediately embraced by the typical beauty of Ireland. Large lakes are surrounded by rough mountains in dark contrast with a clouded sky. Here as elsewhere in the entire country, you'll also find romantic ruins of castles. Killarney is a popular city among tourists. The old heart of the city with its colorful houses and winding streets is wonderful. It's a perfect city in which to stroll around for hours and to nose in the numerous tiny little shops. However, we're in search of the station. The horse coach takes us to a hundred-year-old charming little building. There are many different types of trains in Ireland. Old steam engines, modern intercity trains, and a few very special trains. This one, for example, is the radio train. This inner city has special carriages from where disc jockeys arrange the music. No wonder the Irish youth likes to make use of this musical conveyance. The railway network in Ireland is quite extensive and modern. Yet at some places, like Killarney, the tracks have to be worked by hand, the old-fashioned way. When this has been done, the journey through the green landscape can begin. We travel eastward, and the radio train takes us to Kildare. Welcome aboard this morning, the railway television crew who are joining us from Holland and they'll be traveling with us today on the train and it's just to see how interesting and exciting we are. We get off to visit a place that's well known amongst horse lovers, the National Irish Stud Centre. Racehorses are bred here. Not just racehorses, but real champions. Horse races are very popular in Ireland, and a top horse is worth several millions. Some of the most expensive horses in the world stay here. No wonder they receive the best possible care from head to foot. One of the champions the center looks after is Magic Wonder. This stallion has won several millions in races, and his stud services are also worth lots of money. As a reward for his achievements, he's allowed to have his fling in the meadow once a day. Close to the stock farm, you'll find a horse auction. Celebrities from all over the world come bidding for prestigious thoroughbreds. The horses are critically examined for their race qualities, or their breeding value. At 
After the horse has been sold, the new owner hopes that his investment will pay off soon. Final flight. Beakstown has gone through the inside, a touchdown in front. Oh, so grumpy. Milton Field coming through strongly in between horses. They're racing up towards the finish. And Milton Field and Beakstown on the outside. Ross Cats on the inside. We leave the fanatic sports lovers and get in the train again. It starts up slowly and continues its journey to Dublin in the east. North of the city, we find the splendid Malahide Castle, which dates from 1185. The medieval inhabitants have made room for modern tourists. Sightseers also come to visit the Fry Railway Museum, the largest model railway in Ireland. Here is a beautiful collection of all kinds of handmade models from home and abroad. More than 150 years of train history pass in front of your eyes. <laughs> 